Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Today is Friday, but not only just Friday, it's Black Friday. So, today's video is once again powered by my awesome sponsor, Elgato. Uh, Elgato, I've got a lot of awesome Black Friday deals to share with you. Uh, I will leave a special link down below in the description. It will take you to the Elgato website, but it'll, uh, you can then choose your region and it will show you the various deals open and, uh, and on offer to you. Uh, it's the best way to go ahead and uh, up your content creation game um, while everything is on sale. So yeah, best of luck to you if you are aspiring content creators. Make sure you check that link down below. And uh, thank you once again to Elgato. So we go on into the episode with one thing to ask you at the very, very start, and that is to simply smash the thumbs up button. Keep showing that awesome support, 5,000 likes, that's what I'd love to see. Uh, we got our Rivals rewards today, as well as a team change, and then some, uh, well, it's a new week of Rivals, so we can start the grind once again. Um, I sell a few players that were just duplicates from the UEFA Marquee matchups and stuff, and as you can see, we are now in Division 2, so it's Div 2 rank 3. Three, I think. I don't know. Essentially, this one, which is what I normally go for, was like 500 points. Uh, no, 500 coins more than what it was in Div 2 rank 1, uh, Div 3 rank 1. So, yeah, I don't know. And for some reason, I decided today that I was going to go for this. It was the same amount of 50k packs, both untradeable, only 5,000 coins, but a rare Electrum as well. And I thought, you know what? We can either potent we could potentially make 15k extra from this pack. It's unlikely, but I do. I kind of want to try my test my luck, you know, try out my little chances of maybe making an extra 15 bob. Um, is that going to happen? Well, we're about to find out right now because it is the very first pack that I am going to open. Rare Electrum, all rare, half silver, half gold, and we get a walk. It oh no, no, we don't. Oh dear. Um, yeah. No, we're not going to make the extra money. Uh, well, essentially, I re do you reckon you can make 15k or 17k from all of those players right there? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but yeah, they were the extras. So they'll just sit in the club and be useful to us. I didn't necessarily really need coins desperately this week, so I thought we'd give our luck a little try. Uh, and then 50k pack number one is just going to be boards. So I did open these before Thursday at 6pm. Um, so this was before pre-Black Friday, and then obviously today is Black Friday, and I assume promo tonight could be kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, you can make an argument that maybe I should have and could have saved these, but um, at the end of the day, like I said, if your luck's in, your luck's in. And if I'm going to get myself like a an Mbappe or something, then, you know, now would be the time to get it. Uh, we do get an 85 from 50k pack number two, but no walkout from it this week. Um, Tiago Silva's all right. Chiesa, we also get a Cherby again. Uh, Christian Eriksen, Nathan Aki, like there's a couple of all right players. Um, but with these duplicates right here, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to actually stick them into... A, rather than just discarding them, I'll stick them into an 81 plus double, see what we can get from that, and uh, maybe, just maybe, we could get a half decent player as well. Uh, and with my rivals rewards, and with hopefully like, I don't know, maybe marquee matchups rewards, or actually I'll probably wait until the promo is out to open them up. Um, but I might do some 81 plus doubles, maybe some team of the week packs or something uh, in preparation. We get a walkout though from the two player pack. Uh, it is going to be Fabinho from Liverpool. So we do get a, a Brazilian walkout this week. It's just unfortunately not like Neymar or something. That would have been quite nice. Um, I assume if we're going to get best of team of the week, there will be that inform Neymar back in packs. And all sorts of stuff. So might be worth stacking a couple of those team of the week packs actually. If that does come out. Now, uh, you, I guess you'll know by the time we're, you're watching this. Um, but thank you for uh, for checking out the rewards. It's now time to change the team. All right. So like I said, I really, really like the Erid of Easy side. And I think Gravenbirch might potentially help me enjoy it even more. Uh, so I figured I'm going to pick him up. I accidentally bought him in a striker. His price range did a uh, actually get boosted in the end. It did get increased. So instead of using Fellaini in this team right here, bringing back the league gun players, we're going to put uh, Yara Lipmanen up front, and that just solves that chemistry there. And then if we just put um, 
Graven Birch in that center mid spot. He'll be on full chemistry. It's just like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm testing it out. Would I rather use a full chem Graven Birch or would I rather use a eight chemistry Fellaini? That's sort of like the difference um, between the two squads. And I am interested in trying this card out. He is guaranteed, I believe, now to get a double upgrade um, because he did get the certain amount of wins and then go get through the group or whatever. But we are still like one final group game away from things being done so i think it's one or two weeks away from even potentially being upgraded so um there's absolutely no chance i'm still going to have him in my club if i do have him in my club in two weeks time it'll be a literal miracle because yeah that, that just doesn't happen I, I i sell players after he'll, he'll be gone tomorrow i i'll tell you that right now There'll, there's just no way i'm gonna probably keep him because i i sell players uh, on a whim all the time um so slight change of manager. A Dutch manager with the French league on would have been the best, but uh, I literally didn't have one. So uh, we can deal with nine chemistry uh, Graven Birch for now, and then I don't really care about the chem on Lippmann because he's going to come off straight away. And we already have 100 team chem. So time to change up our... Well, not change up our formation and stuff, but literally just like put the players in the right spot. Uh, Graven Birch for me isn't going to be like the proper all-out CDM. He's going to be the one that is a little bit more balanced, allowed to roam a little bit uh, because, you know, he has got a half-decent dribbling, half-decent shot, and actually like... Has he got four-star skills? I feel like he's got four-star skills. He might not have, though. I can't quite remember. Um, and then I'll have Verratti just doing my, the, the more defensive stuff. But they'll both get involved. You absolutely know that for sure. Um, but will he be better than 8 uh, Ken Marouane Fellaini? That's what I've got to test out right here uh, in a new week of rivals. So let's let's give it a shot. This first guy, he must have got a baby pet a check in, uh, in his icon pack. Now, that's unfortunate. But I still think that's way better than what I got, which was Yari Lippmann. And it's, just, it's not as good, is it? He's, check's actually usable. You can stick him in net. Um, Openda gets me underway for uh, a little 1-0 lead in my first game of Rivals this week. A lovely green time, powerful shot into the back of the net. And I'd had 10 shots at half time, so I probably should have scored a couple more. Um, that is the way it goes, though. I obviously didn't take my chances particularly well. Carrasco then knocks it into Isaac, into Messi. Oh, it comes off McIntosh. Oh, dear. Uh, but yeah, it goes in. Obviously, the keeper's not going to save that one. But a beautiful ball through to Messi from Neres. I'd sort of switch the team around a little bit in the latter stages of the second half and uh, actually put Messi up front again for a bit. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I give a penalty away. That's sad. Wait, who was that that gave it away? Don't tell me it was McIntosh. Don't tell me it was his fault for a couple of goals. Now, I bottled it. I normally stay down the middle and save them. But for some reason, I thought I'm going to dive. And I wish I didn't. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so two all in the first game of our Rivals Week, which is annoying because I think we were on a one or two game win streak, which you know would have put us onto a hot streak and helped us get uh, up the league a little bit more. Um, but is what it is. At least we don't drop down to the checkpoint again. Hopefully we can win this game. It's a tough old team though. This guy's got like Di Natale and stuff. Uh, but I go on a little break right at the start. Look at that ball in from Openda. And then Neres is just not tracked down quick enough. And I can green time the finesse. Just whip it around the goalkeeper. My pause that I queued at the start of the game hits. So that I can maybe take Lippmann off. And he just quits. And I'm like... Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I would hope that he was at a checkpoint or something and not on a hot streak or anything because otherwise giving up at 1-0 after two minutes is just a little bit... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. And then we come up against someone who's called something something eSports. He's got a meta team with Baby Vieira. If you got that in the icon pack, GG's to you. That's a, uh, that's a desirable card. And then like Mbappe and stuff. So, yeah, I was preparing myself for a difficult game. I'm not going to lie. Um, but some nice dribbling by Arpendo. Just ends up getting into the box and I hit the low driven. It didn't go super low, um, but it had enough power to get past the goalkeeper. So I'll take it. And then rather than doing the corner technique, I do knock it out short. But then I just shoot with Neres. And I've been trying to do that. I've been, tr I've been trying to get away from the corner technique a little bit. I think I might do it once in today's video because I was desperate for a goal. But most of the time, I'm trying to be a different person that doesn't use that technique. We'll see, though. Uh, once the weekend league comes around, you know that it's just sort of like anything goes uh, to get the wins. But, um, yeah, that brings me up to the next checkpoint. Div 2. 
rank two, uh, and our second win of the week. So all the twos happening right there. And then we go into another one. Oh, he's got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, of course, just recently out of a job, but he is still a fuck hero um, and will always remain a hero for Man United, I hope. I hope that that hasn't completely and utterly tarnished his, uh, his rep um, at the club because, you know, that era of Man United players was just like... Awesome. Um, so I go 1 0 down. It is Oli at the wheel in this case. Uh, this game, he's managed to score the goal. But Neres, with once again some beautiful dribbling and just a genuinely lovely finish. He's such a cool, composed player. Uh, I love him actually. And he's he's got a three star weak foot, but it doesn't really seem that way because I have scored a couple of right footed goals. Uh, in the 81st minute, unfortunately, I concede a beautiful chip to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And it didn't really represent this game, in my opinion. At the time, we both had a very similar XG. And then by the time he had finished scoring all these goals, when I went throw the kitchen sink mode at him, uh, he ends up with a much higher XG. Oh, classic lasty offside trap right there. Love to see it. It's been a couple of episodes since I've done one of them. So uh, you're welcome. Um, that, for those of you that don't know, is when you do an offside trap... And it just doesn't work. And you, and you just let them through on goal to score an easy one. Um, we do like to do that every now and again. But yeah, I lost 4-1. I, I really think that I bossed that second half. I just couldn't get a goal. Uh, it is what it is. And we stick at... We were already at the checkpoint. That one would have just taken me on to... I think that one would have put me into a um, onto a hot streak, perhaps. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I can't remember the games that I've already shown you today. Uh, but we go into another one. And this guy got baby Ronaldinho in an icon pack, I would uh, presume. Because that was one of his main players. And uh, a lovely, powerful green time shot from Neres to start things off puts me 1-0 up. This Brazilian just can't stop scoring, can he? Uh, absolutely love the player. But there was a Brazilian at the other end as well. And... I don't know. Uh, it would be a dream to get any version of Ronaldinho on this game because it's just a lot of fun. It, it, it is a, a highly skilled player. Like, that goal. The, the way that it went in, I know it was from inside the box and it wasn't a free kick, but it was, kind, it was a little bit reminiscent, the way it goes over the keeper and into that corner of the goal that he scored against England in the 2002 World Cup. I don't know if any of you remember that. God, I was, I was 12 years old. Was it 2002 World Cup? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And uh, that was, oh, sad, sad times. He absolutely lobbed David Seaman, I believe it was, um, from distance. And that was, yeah, sadness. But uh, we end up going 3-1 down. Hat-trick there for Ronaldinho. You just can't defend this guy sometimes. Um, but I didn't pause and quit, which I thought I might have done. I actually just went on the offensive straight away. Phil Foden was up front, uh, and I, I managed to get a goal straight back uh, after countering from a corner. And then literally, like, kickoff goal style, I go down the other end and score yet again. Foden this time ends up losing the ball, but I can win it back with Neres here, knock it into Verratti. Yeah, weak foot left, you know, yeah, weak foot finesse shot untimed from a 63 shooting Verratti. You don't expect it to go in, but we'll take it. And then I think this right here, 85th minute, I could do with a victory. Yeah, I go for the corner technique because I see Fellaini at the back post and I'm like, I could shoot with Neres here. Or I could just score, and I took the goal option. So uh, I feel like a little bit of a rat, but hey, at the end of the day, that's the only time we've done it in this episode. But GG's to that guy. Ronaldinho was a, uh, a menace, a really difficult player to come up against. I'd love to use him at some point. Uh, hopefully, we can either get the coins or get lucky enough in some sort of pack to get a version of uh, one of the most enjoyable players to ever grace the football pitch. Uh, so that right there is, I think, my third win of the week is a good a good place to sort of just leave it for a bit um and then tomorrow's episode will get stuck in with like uh the weekend league we'll play my first few games of that i'm not sure i'm not settled on whether or not i'm just absolutely blitzing through the weekend league uh on friday as normal and then trying to get my rewards ready for 6 p.m to then open up and you'd see that like on sunday night or monday um as normal that that's kind of like what i do but i've got a little bit more time this weekend because ipswich are away no, we're playing on Sunday. So, yeah, I've got the whole of Saturday uh, that I could potentially do my um, continue my game. So, I might not absolutely 
blast through them all on Friday. I might try and take my time a little bit more. Hopefully, maybe push for that 12, but most likely it's going to be going for eight. Um, we'll see. I'll probably have them done. By the time you're watching this, I reckon I'll finish my weekend league because uh, I'm just so desperate to get the rewards as soon as possible. I love that instant gratification of being able to open your red picks and stuff right at the start. But I will, of course, if I do finish my weekend league before 6 p.m. tonight for you, uh, I will wait until after 6 p.m. to open the reward so that I can maybe pack whatever promo players we potentially get. Um, but yeah, uh, Graven Birch so far, not 100% sure. He's all right, but I've been bringing him off for Fellaini in the second half, and I feel like Fellaini maybe covers a bit more ground. So... I mean, unfortunately, I think his price has started to dip a little bit from when I bought him. Uh, so I, I would lose money if I sold him. So I might hold on to him whilst I don't desperately need the coins. And maybe with the potential of him getting that double upgrade, it might start to boost his price. Or there might have just been so many people hoarding him, trying to make money that, that he's just going to crash with the rest of the market. And then uh, we lose even more money. So I'll see what happens. But I, I'll, I'll probably make the wrong decision no matter which one I choose. Um... Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you could do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. Like I said, I'll leave a special link uh, to the Elgato website for all of their Black Friday deals. Uh, check them out. Seriously, if you are a content creator, uh, I can highly recommend the stuff. It's, uh, it's the best stuff out there. I, I, I recommend it. Now, also, I don't remember if I've asked you to subscribe to the channel or not, if you're new. But thank you for that, if you if you, if you, if you consider it. And of course, uh, you can find my Twitter and Instagram. Both of those links are also down below in the description with everything else. Um, all that's left to say is that I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. And I will be back once again tomorrow. And we'll start this weekend league. We'll use our Messi. Welcome back, King Messi, by the way. Uh, to try and unlock a red Messi. It's poetic, isn't it? I hope that it happens. I'll see you later. Peace.